<sighs> Damn it. Welcome back to everyone. Shoot, Z1 Motorsports came through, so we're finally going to be able to get this one back up and running. <sighs> so I'm very happy about that. So without further ado, we're just gonna hop right into it. No bother explaining it. You've been through this through four videos already, so let's get going. All right, so I'm gonna try to get some of these angles. As you can see, we finally have our piece to plug in. And we need to put it right down in there. So try to go around the camera and squeeze my way through to screw this in. And try not to knock anything down. Going in all right. I haven't done this in so long, I forgot. Let's see if I can just snake this through. There. It's the other O2 sensor. Sorry if my hand's gonna get in the way. That's just how it is. I just wanted to catch the thread. No. Come on, catch. Catch already. Damn you. Catch, motherfucker. Damn. I think I'm just gonna put the nut in first and then I'm gonna try to see if I can get it to catch on the threads of the nut instead. Put this on first. Oh, no, where'd you go, where'd you go? Hold on, I really don't know where I dropped it, hold on. As you can see here with uh, much finagling, uh, we got the O2 sensor back on, so I'm happy about that. But it looks like there is another issue that's arise, but uh, yeah, I guess it'll get us in time for another video. I don't know if you guys can see this. Hold on. Sorry, stuff's in the way back here. But uh, down there, it's kind of, there's a little divot and kind of like a little hole there in the, uh, in the, uh, the little metal part that goes over the exhaust manifold, but based on the heat shield. So, my, I guess eventually we're going to have to replace it anyway, so with a, some sort of newer head or so. I'm just being time for a newer video, but just wanted to let you know. All right, onwards, time to get this car back on. All right, it's plenum time. Check the other side real quick. Um, everything seems to be in order. Something's in the way, I don't know what. check each one of the holes and make sure that the thing is seated correctly. Nope, it's slid back a bit. Give me a sec. I don't know what that was, but. All right, let's try this again.
All right, take a quick look. All right, we're in. Mario music. Learn my lesson from last time. Just go ahead and put them in. And we'll screw them down accordingly. And a half pint. Start from the middle, go to the edge. Oh no, it's not going in its hole. What's going on? Oh, there we go. That one's not going in, that's weird. That one's not going in either, that's weird. That one went in. What's going on back here? Oh no, all right. Something's wrong. I'm gonna figure it out off camera. I really don't have the time. I'll be back with you guys. Okay, it's back. It was a pain, but it's back. Let's just move on. future kind of explaining uh, pretty much uh, what happened next as far as the video goes so here let me bring it down here since it's not as we were supposed to continue on that day with putting on the water pipes and uh, you know the little silicone hoses that go attached to it and the timing covers and get all that done but Concept Z kind of dropped the ball and in their package where they usually send you two of the silicone hoses that connect they only gave me one so I had to basically rebuy them from Z1 Motorsports but Z1 Motorsports took basically like three days to send it over even though I'm only one state away because they're in Georgia and I'm in South Carolina. So, and which was odd because I bought something else from them that same day. And that second thing that I bought, which was basically like some extra hose and uh, some other various things, it only took them two days to get it over here. But for some reason, the silicone hoses took three days. So I ended up having to wait for that. So basically, we didn't get to finish this build until basically Thursday or so, or pretty much like two days before Christmas. <laughs> so 
at least for the most part, we got, we were able to put, by that time we were able to put all the timing covers on and the water pipes, even though they were giving me so much trouble. I was just like, man, it's like those bolts just didn't want to go on at all. I had to keep taking it off, hitting it with a hammer to get it in there. I even had to change over one of my water pipes to one of my chrome ones that I, well, this kind of chromish one that I tried doing a while back ago because the the temperature sensor on the old one wouldn't come off and it stripped so bad that I was just like, oh, fuck it, I'll just put the new stuff on the other pipes, even though it doesn't really match in color. So at least it matched, at least eventually it matched up to the silver intake pipes, but I'm still not happy about it. So we're going to be changing that later on in the future. <laughs> but either way, it's all finally on now. So I guess we're just going to go back to the regular part of the video. And this is where we're putting on like the coolant hoses and the radiator and all that other all the other jazz and bullshit finally get this car together. So I'm um, gonna return you guys back to it now. the original clamp so I'm just gonna use one of these uh, old style screw clamps one of these t-shirt you gotta take a look i move the hair out the way yeah it fits it fits pretty well it fits pretty well so you know if you ever get some more more newer designs i'll be sure to buy some more it's a pretty good fit oh and by the way merry christmas and a uh, happy new year man take it easy everybody we're at the final step here so everything's back on good to go I went ahead and put some coolant in so we can go ahead and get it started you know still got to bleed the system after we turn the key but um, this is basically it uh, finally we're gonna turn this car back on so I'm gonna go lower it down and we'll turn the key and we'll see if it fires
forgot how low this car is to the ground. <laughs> All right, here we go. 